Okay, so this is the key to the gate. This one's for the security door at the entrance. No, wait. That one's for the garage. Oh, let's start over. This one's for the security door. He said he'd kill me if I changed the locks. Said it was his house too, just because he'd lived there for a while. But I'd been renting the place since way before he showed up. If I change the locks now, he'll kill me. Well, should I change them or, or not? Well, I didn't. And one night he walked in, nice and easy, using his own keys, and strangled me in my sleep. My kid never even realized. He slept right through it. He was nice to my kid. Sometimes took him to see a local soccer match. That's what fooled me. If he treats my kid right, he'll treat me right too, I figured. I'd always felt so lonely. There was just the factory, my kid. It felt really good to have a man around the house. It's so sweet to see them shaving in the morning with that nice, clean smell they give off. He sure was clean. He'd even change his shirt twice a day. Uh, I'm not much good at ironing. I'm the first to admit it. But with him, it was a bit of an obsession. Blame it on their mothers, raising boys like their guests at some fancy hotel. Well, afterwards, the real world is bound to disappoint. I would have moved to a fancy hotel myself if I had the money. Would have taken the kid and left him in this damn place once and for all. They kept telling me at the crisis center, change those locks. But I was afraid he'd kill me if I did. Everyone had heard him shout, just let her try it and I'll kill her. So I never dared. Well, he came and killed me anyway. Now where's the logic in that, I ask you? Okay, so this one's for the security door. No, door. No, my mistake, it's for the gate. He came and went at all hours. Watched TV at top volume in the middle of the night, waking the kid up. Emptied the fridge of two days' worth of shopping. He was used to taking what he pleased. Afterwards, he'd come into the bedroom and take what he wanted there, too. The only key he didn't have was to the one to the bathroom, so at least I could lock myself up in there, finally alone, and cry. Still, after our last argument, he seemed much calmer. This time, he really got it, I thought. He didn't even threaten to kill me. So I almost convinced myself to change the locks that next morning, but he killed me first. I never meant to hurt him. I just wanted to leave him, or rather I wanted him to leave us alone, me and my kid. But he didn't want to go back to live with his mother, even if she ironed his shirts way better than me. He was always saying, so, you should learn from her, he'd say. But I never got the chance. Would you do me a favor and tell the women at the crisis center that they were right all along? I can't seem to find them. I hear budget cuts force them to shut the place down. Now there's a bank where it once stood, the same bank that refused to give me a mortgage. A pity. If they had, I could have moved. Now all I have left are these keys, and I can't even remember which locks they're for. I know this one's for the gate. But what about this one? <laughs>